Okay, on the Aero 5 machine, uh, we already configured the, um, the new uh, flow meter to detect uh, uh, any issue on the, on the lubrication, on the head start lubrication. So, but now we have the alarm 261. But this is because the input that we are looking for is the input X1F. If we go to diagnosis monitor, and now the input is X1F is in one. So let's say that is um, we can fear the the flow meter to be a normal close contact when we have flow. Uh, over uh, 11 uh, liters per minute. So if we have flow less than that, or actually less than 10 uh, liters per minute, the signal will go off, or if the cable uh, got broken, uh, it also will, it will uh, go off, or if we miss 24 volt, or so so that means that this signal must be always in one but we, even though that we have the alarm because the parameter which is the r66 bit 3 this bit is configured for a normal open contact. Let me show you on the manual. So, sorry, it's, it's uh, configured for a normal close contact. So we have to change the parameter to one the parameter R66 uh, B3 to 1 and this will do the M75 and the M75 signal is used on the logic of the alarm F61 Here you go. So this is the parameter and this is the alarm. So the parameter or the condition will trigger the timer. Let me show you on the logic. Let's go to diagnosis, version, ladder monitor. Look for the coil. F61 which is the alarm by the way uh, if you don't know if you have a, an alarm let's say 261 that, that is the one that we have now to look for the call you have to um, uh, remove or get uh, 200 less to the number so let's say 261 minus 200, the coil is F61. So this is the coil. And if we try to reset the condition, it won't go off. So let's go and change the parameter from parameter, machine parameter, ladder R1 to 80 and the bits uh, 3, this is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, uh, 2, 1, 0 and there you go.
So now we have to turn the machine off and on to make it work. So let's do it. By the way, the flow meter is this one. I'll show you once it's on. And what we did is to eliminate the relay KA 146 because we jumped the signal coming from the from the flow meter which is uh, 377 we jumped out signal with the input uh, wire uh, that is uh, 432 31 for the input uh, one, one x uh, sorry x one f so let's turn it on On the schematic, you will find this uh, flow meter as a SP4, but we have to change the schematic because it, there was a pressure switch originally installed here, but to detect flow, the best option or to control uh, lubrication on any mechanical device or assembly. To control it that is being lubricated, you have to install flow meter, not pressure switch. Because if you have a piping clog uh, or so on, you will have problem with that because if you still see pressure instead of uh, getting oil on the on the mechanical part so this is a flow meter and we have 14.4 liters per minute now and the output sp1 is activated as you see the yellow led so if the flow uh, goes below 10 liters per minute the output will go off and then we will have the alarm on the machine so let's check diagnosis we don't have the alarm uh, go to um, version diagnosis monitor the input is still on the input X1F is on and let's go to the ladder monitor and look for the coil F61 okay and it's off and we have um, the timer T66 has 30 uh, three seconds, I guess. Uh, let's check. Let's disconnect the flow meter. Okay. Okay, three seconds. We have the alarm. See? So let's go to diagnosis. Let's try to reset the alarm. We don't have a lubrication and we cannot reset that alarm. Okay, that's all. Thank you.